Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of this new series which is gonna be called WASP Frequently Asked Questions. I decided to make this series to address some of the main questions that come when uh, you guys are using WASP and so I'm gonna try to use this uh, series to try to give uh, common answers to problems that I've seen happening a lot in, uh, in different cases and so I'll give you a quick uh, place where to look for those answers. Of course you can always use the Discord channel, but from now on I'm gonna try to get some of the common problems that come up on the Discord channel and kind of make videos to explain them. So the first and fundamental problem that I've seen happening, which is the one that stops anyone from doing anything with Wasp, is installing Wasp. So in this video we're gonna go uh, through how to get Wasp from uh, somewhere on the internet, how to download it, install it, as well as we're gonna see how to update from one Wasp version to a newer Wasp version and, as, and to update a uh, file. So to get started, you can get Wasp fundamentally from two places. So the first place is Food for Rhino, and in Food for, on Food for Rhino you are able to get the uh, current stable version of Wasp, which at the moment of making this video is the version 0.2.08. And so you can just go to the WASP page on Food for Rhino. I'm gonna put the links in the description box. And you can just scroll down to WASP 0208. You can just click on download and this will just download your WASP file for you. And the other option is instead to work with a beta version. So I'm working on GitHub and I'm constantly posting uh, beta versions for you to test new features that have not yet uh, been made completely stable and so they're not yet available in the uh, stable version. So for that you can go to the GitHub page of WASP which is gonna look like this and then in the release tab here on the side you'll see that you have the stable release listed here but then if you go and click on this 19 releases you actually find not only the stable versions but also all the beta versions that have been releasing. In this case the latest beta version is 0.4.007b so what you want to do is you can go under assets click here and click on the zip file to download the um, the WASP version that you want to download. So once you have done either of them so either from Food for Rhino or from this you're gonna end up with uh, a zip file. So I'm gonna start by showing you how to install the stable version and then we're gonna see how we can instead upgrade from the stable version to a newer version. So once we have the WASP 2.08, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna right click on it and unzip it using the <coughs> zip software you use. And so we are gonna end up with uh, a folder. Now one of the most common mistakes that I've seen uh, users do is to take this folder and copy this whole folder in the uh, Grasshopper Components folder. Now that's not the way in which WASP is installed. So what we want to do is we want to enter into this folder and now in this folder you will find a WASP folder and a user object folder. So what we want to do is we're going to select our WASP folder, copy it, and then when we are in Grasshopper, we are gonna go to File, Special Folders, Components Folder, and paste our WASP folder here. Now you have to make sure that there is no other WASP folder here, so if there is one, please delete it. And so we're gonna go on and paste our WASP folder there. And so we're done with the first step. Now we're gonna go back to our uh, installation folder and we're gonna enter the user object folder where you find all the WASP user objects and we're gonna select all of them. Once again, copy them. And then in Grasshopper again, go to File, Special Folders, User Object Folder. And here as well, just make sure that there is no WASP user object. If there is any WASP user object, please delete it. And then we can go on and paste our new user objects. You see that while we do that in Rhino, this is already adding the user objects. 
but <clears throat> and they should be already working and so we can just go to now find our wasp tab which has appeared somewhere and so just to check that we need everything right we can just go and get the basic part from the parts tab bring it in it's gonna turn orange and you wanna have this little balloon here if the balloons are not there you can show them from display canvas widgets message balloons and so you wanna click on this and this one is going to give you some message and there's going to be no part provided and no part geometry provided which is okay because the component is not yet set up but you want to make sure that the component doesn't turn red and there's no message saying that it wasn't able to load uh, wasp so very good now this is the standard procedure to install wasp in all cases okay so What's important, as I said, one of the common mistakes that I've seen is I've seen people go into the wasp folder and copy just the wasp file into the folder. I've seen people copy the whole wasp0208 folder in there. And as well, I've seen uh, some users copy their files into the Rhino system folders, which were where uh, Grasshopper plugins used to be installed in, I think, Rhino 4. So, however, since Wasp relies on knowing the exact path where the components are installed, you have to put them in the path that you're going to get to when you go to File, Special Folders, and then Components folder. All right. So now we installed Wasp 0.2.08, and we checked that everything works and everything is fine. So now let's take a look how we can instead uh, upgrade Wasp. So... <coughs> What we are going to do is we are going to go back to our folder where we have our zip file and we are going to get our beta version, so the wasp 04.007. We're going to right click and unzip this as well. And so now we're going to have a new folder. And now you'll notice a little difference and the little difference is that now the wasp folder has a the first letter is not capitalized, so that's a difference that is there from version 0 0.3. And that's because now Wasp is a bit more structured. And you could also notice that if you go inside that folder, there is not anymore a single file, but there are few files that structure the different classes of Wasp. So, same exact procedure. We take the Wasp folder, just the Wasp folder, not the 0 0.4.7. We right-click on it. We copy it and then we go to file, special folders, components folder. So important, it is not possible to keep more than one version of Wasp installed. So what you want to do is you want to select your previous Wasp folder and delete it. And then you want to go on and paste your new Wasp folder. We can then close the libraries. And then we are going to go back to our folder. We are going to go into user objects. We are going to select all of them. Right click, copy. And then we are going to go to file, special folders, user objects folder. And then we, as we said, we already have the previous version of uh, user objects, so we want to delete them. So we're going to right click, click, select all of them, right click and delete. And then we want to go on and paste the new user objects. Now, in this case, uh, since we created already a component, we loaded the older version of Wasp. So before being able to use Wasp properly, we have to close Rhino. And then restart it. As well as Grasshopper. And now we should be able, we should have the brand new version of Wasp installed. So we're gonna just again check that everything works fine so that the components load correctly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on and see how we can take a file that has been built with an older version of Wasp, let's say the 0 0.2, and just update it to the newer version. 
So my component is open. I'm going to go and find my wasp tab, which is here. And I'm going to once again go to parts, basic part, bring it in. And I get again my warning messages, but no error message. So we're good to go. Great. So now I have here a file that was built with Wasp 0.2.08. And I want to show you what happens when you try to open it, as well as how you can uh, update this file. So I'm going to bring in the Rhino file. And I'm going to then bring in the Grasshopper file. And you see that the components will go red by default and saying that it's enabled to import uh, everything, anything. So what we want to do is we want to go in all the example files from WAS, you're going to find this update component. And if it's not there, it's a file that you got from somebody else. You'll find that component under experimental update file. And so all we want to do is we want to connect a button to this and click it. So what this component is going to do is it's going to run through all the components that are on the canvas, find the one that are um, WASP components, and then replace the code that is inside them. Now, this allows you to uh, replace a component if that component has the same exact amount of inputs and outputs. If there has been a change in the inputs or in the outputs of the component, what, the, what this update file component will do is it will create a red group around this one saying that this component could not be replaced and it's going to already place a brand new component next to it. So what we want to do then is we can just take all the inputs that are plugged into this one and plug them in this. You can just do that by pressing Control shift and then you can unplug from this one and plug to the other one. And I'm going to do it for all of them. Oops. I'm going to connect the geometry and the connections. And then I'm going to do the same for the outputs. I'm going to then delete the old component. And now I have my brand new component. I'm going to have to do the same with the uh, aggregation component because it has few new inputs. So I'm going to again control, uh, control shift parts numbers and the rules and also the reset button and then I'm going to also connect my output and here we go now you see that we have uh, our brand new version of wasp installed it's updated it's working we can just test it by changing our aggregation and we are ready to work and so every time we have a new file we can just bring it in if we realize that it's not matching the WASP version that is installed on our computer, we can simply use the update button to update it to the version we have and ready, be ready to work with WASP. So this is it for this quick video. I hope this is going to be helpful for anyone getting started with WASP and making sure that you don't have any issues. Uh, if you have any problems that you've been encountering using WASP and you would like to see a video on them, just leave a comment in the description or just let me know on Discord. And thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.